50 Cent is no friend of Diddy, the rapper has spent the last two decades criticizing the bad boy mogul. Some felt he was just hating, but it seems as though 50 was on to something. Diddy has become one of the most reviled figures in the music industry. It seems like every day, a new person comes forward with a gruesome new allegation against him. 50 is all for exposing Diddy, he does, however, want to make sure that the allegations are coming from an honest place, if not, the rapper proved that he will call people out. Talia Graves is a woman who has accused Diddy of sexual assault, she is currently suing Diddy and his head of security, Joseph Sherman, for allegedly raping her in 2001. Graves claims that she was dating an employee of Diddy's at the time the alleged rape took place, that said, Graves' story has suffered under close inspection. TMZ reports that they obtained a text conversation between the accuser and her ex, in which she divulges her plan to sue Diddy because he's the one that has the money. The conversation also sees Graves offer her ex $3 million if he backs up her assault allegations. She reportedly asked the ex to attest that he saw footage of the rape. 50 Cent took notice of this turn of events. He grabbed a screenshot from TMZ and threw it up on his Instagram with the caption, Unhun caught this beat. Lying. LOL. 50 Cent is not someone who has watched the Diddy case unfold casually, either. The G-Unit founder has made the Diddy scandal an aspect of his business. 50 landed an absolutely massive deal to produce a documentary about the scandal for Netflix. TMZ has put out several of their own documentaries on the subject, but Netflix undeniably draws more eyes to their releases, which puts 50 in an ideal spot. Given how invested 50 Cent is in the Diddy case, it makes sense that he would want to double-check the validity of the bad boy founder's accusers. The sheer number of people who have come forward with allegations has been alarming. The lawyer who publicized the hotline for Diddy's alleged victims, Tony Busby, claims that the hotline received 12k callers in the first day. That is a lot of people to fact check. Talia Graves has been one of Diddy's most visible accusers, but the more evidence comes out, the more her case looks dubious.